400 ammo and drop it into your ship. But we're never going to be using 4,400 4, ammunition in a fight. So what we probably want to do is just drag over what we're going to need. So the guns can take 600. So let's say we're going to take two reloads with us because it'll take a while to use up all 200 rounds in the guns. So let's just bring over 1,200 rounds so we've got enough for two reloads. So if we hold shift, click and drag, it'll pop up with a window saying how many do you want to put in there. And then we can type 1200, zero, zero, like so, and click OK. And then we've got a moderate amount of ammunition there, and we've still got some left for another ship. Another thing I'd like to mention is how to quickly fit your ships by saving common fits that you use often. So we've got this browse function at the top. So if we click browse, we've got personal fittings and corporation fittings. So there's a few corporation fittings saved, which we're not going to use. We're going to rely on our personal fittings. And there aren't any there. And we do have the option to import and export, which allows you to back up fittings for your clients. So if you have to reinstall you, you can import your old fitting set if you like. And let's close this. Let's save our frigate. Now we can give it a name. So we'll call it PVP in Cursus. And we're going to save it in personal. And you can see what information is being saved, so the one warrior, the damage control, the armor wrap, all of our modules are shown there. Ammunition is not shown there, and nor is the information in our cargo hold. And we can also add a description, so we can call this Standard Room to Learn to PvP. And we can click Save. And that's now saved. The advantage of this, you'll see now. So let's try fitting another ship. Obviously, we're going to be losing ships in PvP, so it's always good to have a stock of frigates. So when we lose one, we can quickly jump in another. So let's activate the other incursus. We'll assemble the ship, right-click, make active, and we wait for it to load, and you can see that we've got an empty fitting window. The first thing we always do is rename the ship. So change name to Frigate 2. Okay. And now we're going to browse. Now if we have a look under frigates you can see in cursus and there's our PvP in cursus. Now provided we've got the modules available in our hangar we'll be able to quickly fit. So if we click fit and all the modules jump up into the ship. And the useful thing is if we haven't got all of the modules available it will tell you. So it can say one damage control is missing so it wasn't able to fit it. So if we click OK on that, we know we've got to get damage control. We can also add the ammunition, but before we do that, we've got to stack our guns. So if we hold shift and drag and drop, just to link them. So we've got one button to push when we're in space rather than three. And we need to get that extra damage control you need off the market so we can fit it. And let's just put some ammunition in our cargo hold. One, two, one, two, zero, zero. OK, and there we go. Search the market for a damage control. Fit that, and voila, another ship fitted a lot quicker than our last one. Now if you've got a large number of ships that you need to fit, so perhaps you've gone on the market and bought 10 frigates to learn to PvP, you could save the first fitting and then just use the browse option and then the fit option on the ship to quickly fit multiple ships so you can change ship quickly fit it change ship quickly fit it change ship quickly fit it and then you've got a fleet of ships to lose in pvp now you may be wondering how i know how i should fit a ship this mostly takes experience you'll have to lose hundreds of ships before you learn all of the modules available in EVE online and how you're supposed to fit certain ships to make best use of them one of the main ways you can find out how to fit a ship is to simply show info on the ship. So right click on the ship. And then if you have a look at the description, you'll see some bonuses. Now on this frigate we can see first of all a 10% bonus to small hybrid turret fall off and 5% bonus to small hybrid turret damage per skill level. That is how I knew this ship was designed to fit hybrid modules. So if we have a look at the fitting again, you can see I've got some electron blasters, which are hybrid mo uh, modules, 
So I am getting that 10% bonus, and I am getting that 5% bonus, and I'll be able to make use of them in combat. As for the type of tank I wanted to fit, you can see on the attributes, if we go down, or if we have a look at the uh, defense screen here, I've got 460 HP and 359 HP. That's for armor, that's for shield. So this ship favors armor tanking more than shield tanking. Now it's actually very difficult, I know, to tank a frigate. And normally you would fit speed modules and just hope you don't get shot or hope that you can go faster than what the enemy can really hit. But in this case, I want to show you how you choose what type of tanking you'd use. So I've gone for the damage control and the armor repairer because there's more armor available than there is shield. So I want to make use of that more armor than I do the shield. And the damage control is useful because I've got quite a lot of structure as well, 460 HP structure. So I wanted to take advantage of that structure by using a damage control which adds resists on the structure of 50% which nicely led the mid slots which were available for a micro warp drive which allows me to go faster to get in range of enemy targets quicker or to orbit enemies faster if needed to avoid fire then i've got the warp scrambler which allows me to hold a target down for the fleet and i've got my stasis web of fire which also allows me to hold a target in place for the fleet but browsing through the stats of a ship really does help you identify how you want to sh fit that ship so if you can see the ship is faster than other ships, you might want to take advantage of that speed by trying to speed tank the ship. If you can see the ship has a lot of shield hit points, and if you go on the fitting, you can see that it's got a lot of mid slots and not too many low slots, perhaps five mid slots, one low slot, you know that you want to shield tank it. On the other hand, if we want mid slots for electronic warfare and then we've got a couple of low slots, you may want to armor tank it because of how this slot layout is shown and because of the fact that you've got more hit points available in your armor than your shields. So actually examining the ship's statistics first of all will help you figure out how you want to fit the ship. Another resource you could use for research however are either kill boards or using fitting databases. So for example if we look at our kill board you can see other ships that have been killed or lost and you can view the fittings and get a better idea of how you should fit your own ship. Now some of the fittings will actually be pretty terrible, some of them won't be appropriate, but there should be somewhere on some kill board some ideas that you can take away and use to actually create your own fitting for your own ship. The next site that I want to show you is the fitting database. Now most alliances will have this type of thing in some form, so some of them will be private like this one, and some of them will be public fitting databases. This is the vault fitting database, so if we have a look at frigate, we can see there's a few frigates. You've got mostly rifters because they're very, very popular. So we can see a speed rifter that someone submitted. And you've got the brief fitting, and you can see it's fetching the prices, and it says that it's going to be 13 million isk for some reason, which isn't actually true at all. So I guess there's a weird quirk in the uh, prices of one of those modules. Um, but yes, you've got lots of fittings available in the ship interface, so we can have a look at uh, battleships, and then we've got alliance approved fittings for various things, as well as lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of battleship fittings. So there's plenty here that you can actually have a look at, so if someone submitted a fleet damage one, and if we have a look, you've just got a standard fit, and you've got all the uh, modules shown what drone types want to be used. And this is just a standard fitting database. So there you go, a more likely price for this ship. It's 178 million. So you've got fitting databases which you can also browse. Uh, another thing I want to show you off the web is a EVE fitting tool. Now this fitting database will actually work with the EVE fitting tool. You can paste from the tool to the database. You can take from the database and paste it into the tool using the clipboard and both will figure out what you're pasting and actually show it in a decent way graphically. Now the eFitting tool is basically a program that allows you to select a ship from EVE Online, import your skills or select a preset made set of skills that you've chosen and then basically fit the ship and see how you can fit the ship. You can drag and drop modules from the sidebar 
or you can search for modules and then drag and drop them in. You can choose your ammunition type, you can also overload and offline modules. So e-fitting tool is another useful application and there are other tools available that do similar functions to this. So if you have a look on the e-forms under ships and modules you can probably find a few tools that are available to fit your ships out of game. So when you're in game and you're actually spending your ISK, you spend your ISK correctly getting the right modules you know should fit. And that actually covers everything I wanted to talk about in the basic ship fittings video. The next video will be on tanking and I'll go into more detail about how you tank ships and what modules you use for armor tanking, shield tanking and speed tanking.